now we will talk about the third and last part of the series about what are the biological bi biochemical changes that take place in the blood blood because of different types of jaundice first let's talk about the jaundice caused because of hemolysis we also call it a choleuric jaundice because in this bilirubin is not seen in urine in hemolysis there is decrease in hemoglobin in blood this could, could be extravascular hemolysis for example splenomegaly intravascular hemolysis which is hemoglobinemia resulting in decreased free hepatoglobin that is because uh, there is so much of hemoglobin being formed that the capacity of hemoglobin to bind with hepatoglobin is reduced means like the, the uh, most of the hepatoglobin is consumed has been consumed so hemoglobin freely roams in the blood now what is the function of hepatoglobin it is a protein which binds with hemoglobin now let's talk about acute and chronic cases of intravascular hemolysis first is your acute tubular necrosis hemoglobinuria and in this in acute intravascular hemolysis there is presence of hemoglobin cast in the urine in chronic intravascular hemolysis there is hemoglobinuria there is hemosiderinuria that is hemosiderin is present in lot of hemosiderin is present in the pct is coming to the pct and then being excreted in the urine here the rbc count decreases because there is of him because of hemolysis rbc count decreases now total by bilirubin present in blood increases now the unconjugated bilirubin is far far increased than conjugated uh, actually conjugated bilirubin remains normal because the enzyme present in the liver are doing the job to maximum capacity so conjugated bilirubin remains normal normal but unconjugated bilirubin increases a lot but it does not exceed 5 to 6 mg per deciliter usually in this case because there is no much increase uh, from uh, more than 5 to 6 mg per deciliter it is uh, this presence of mild jaundice this presence of mild jaundice but uh, in, in the important clinical point that you should remember is if there is more than 6 mg per deciliter of bilirubin in blood then there must be all uh, liver damage also very important clinical point if less than 6 mg per deciliter then it is because of hemolysis excessive hemolysis but more than 6 mg per deciliter it is because of liver damage now let's talk about what is what happens in reticular reticulocyte because of uh, decrease amount of rbc more production of reticulocyte occurs in the bone so there is increased amount of uh, reticulocyte count there is macrocystosis that is large new rbc because rbcs are being transported into blood without their full maturation so they are large in size there is polychromasia that is that is rbcs are present with the blue tinge because some rna residues of a stain blue are also present the rbc there is increased as uh, there is uh, the ast and alt levels are normal we'll talk about what is ast what is alt but for now just remember ast and alt levels are normal 5 alpha 5 uh, alkaline phosphatases gamma glutamine transferases and 5 nucleotides are normal we will talk about this also uh, the ninth point which is important is stereocoagulation uh, level increases because of increased amount of uh, conjugation done by the liver and there are this presence of dark stools this presence of dark stools because of increased stereocoagulation level prothrombin time is normal and serum albumin albumin is normal because liver uh, secretes uh liver secretes protein which are important uh, responsible for your uh, uh responsible for healing up tissue and uh, clotting it forms clotting factors so liver is functioning properly thereby therefore because of which prothrombin time is normal and liver also forms albumin so there is proper albumin formation so albumin albumin level also remains normal now two more important points are is that your urinary bilirubin is absent urinary bilirubin is absent because conjugated bilirubin is not entering into uh, uh, your uh, your your rdd or your your pct and dct it is not entering your kidneys so urinary bilirubin is absent but urobilinogen which was a converted product of conjugated bilirubin is in more than normal because of increased conjugated bilirubin that is being formed by rbc so remember the pathway it is being uh, it is being converted into urobilinogen then it is taken by the portal vein then it goes to your liver it is go then it goes to your uh, then go goes to your blood vessel and then it is excreted by the kidney so that remains normal
Now let's talk about various enzymes that we just highlighted. Now AST is aspartate transferase and ALT is alanine transferase. These are markers of hepatocellular injury. If ALT is uh, increased, okay, ALT is more specific for liver diseases and AST. I hope I know I have I uh, AST that is uh, your aspartate transferase is more specific for your heart. If ALT is uh, if AST and ALT are more than 10 times normal value that it means there is there is acute hepatocellular necrosis now let's talk about uh, important enzyme for your extra hepatic uh, or intrahepatic obstruction the enzymes that are released when there is damage to cannula cli or extra hepatic biliary apparatus are alkaline phosphatase uh, there is glutamine transferase and there is five nucleotide nucleotides these are the markers for a canalicular obstruction or injury if only gamma glutamine transferase is high, this is a very important clinical point that means the person takes a lot of alcohol. Now, if uh, uh, if the liver is damaged, I told you that there will be increased pro uh, prothrombin time, there will be uh, loss of albumin. So let's talk about that. If there is prolonged prothrombin time, it is a marker of synthetic failure of liver. That means there must be some damage to the liver. Now there are two markers for synthetic failure of liver that is for short term and for long term. For short term that is prothrombin time and for long term that is serum albumin. Now serum albumin has a half life of 25 days. Serum albumin has a half life of 25 days. So if you see a person and is having a yellow colored discoloration of the skin and you see the only the albumin time uh, then it may be normal. It may be normal and you may think that yeah he doesn't have jaundice but remember the serial al albumin is ha having a half life of tw 25 days so you should wait for 25 days or it, it, much better you should check the prothrombin time to, uh, uh, to conclude whether the person has jaundice or not. Now some more clinical points when AST and ALT both are raised but AST is more than two times ALT that means it is a marker for alcohol uh, then there it means that the person has alcohol alcoholic related injury to liver now let's talk about case 2 hepatocellular injury so we are done with uh, uh, hemolysis now we talk about hepatocellular injury in this there is no feature of excessive hemolysis there is no feature of erythropoiesis total bilirubin increases unconjugated bilirubin increases mild and conjugated bilirubin increases mo uh, more this is because when uh, i'll tell you why because unconjugated bilirubin is high because like there is decreased efficiency by liver cells to convert unconjugated bilirubin into conjugated bilirubin and conjugated bilirubin is high this is because when there is hepatocellular injury the hepatocytes inflame and they block their canalicula they block the canalicula because of which conjugated bilirubin spills into blood here ast and alt uh, are highly increased these are the main markers of hepatocellular injury if these are high the, uh, then for sure there is some damage to your liver now in this case prothrombin time is prolonged because it is not being able to form uh, all those four clotting factors properly uh, that because of which there is increased prothrombin time with the, because of which there is decreased clotting of your blood albumin is normal uh, in case of acute hepatocellular injury, like because of I told, because I just told you that it has a lifespan of 25 days, well, half a half lifespan of 25 days. So for at least 25 days, you will see normal albumin levels. Now there is slight increase in five alkaline phosphatase, gamma uh, glutamine transferase, and five nucleotide nucleotides because of minor uh, blockage of uh, bile cannulicolase present inside the liver.